Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates and one of many very exciting videos to come right here on my channel. Earlier in September I got the opportunity to attend an EA Capture event for the Star Wars Battlefront beta right here in Stockholm, Sweden. We had one and a half day to record anything we wanted, so I've got quite a lot of gameplay to share with you guys. I'll be going over all the weapons, maps, features and so on that is present in the beta, so expect daily videos from now on. But I thought I'd start off with this drop zone gameplay as it is one of the new game modes that has not yet been shown to the public. This was one of the best rounds I got score wise so I thought it would be the most entertaining one for you guys to watch. In this game I was rocking the DLT-19 which is my favorite blaster so far in the beta. It's basically like a light machine gun. My star card setup consisted of the Cycler Rifle, a very interesting sniper card that I'll be talking about more in a video soon. The personal shield that lets you reflect laser projectiles and explosions for a short while and lastly the standard thermal detonator that you all know from the movies. The star card selection is quite limited in the beta but this is the setup I ran during most of the event even if I switched it up from time to time to get some footage and experience with all the gadgets and weapons. The goal of drop zone is as I've talked about in earlier videos to capture these drop pods that comes falling down from the sky. Whenever a drop pod lands on the map it becomes active meaning that your team can claim it and after the drop pod is claimed you can see the bar around it slowly starts to fill up and when it completely fills up it means that your team has captured that pod and received one point. And if the enemy team manages to reclaim the pod before you completely capture it, the timer restarts, which means that some pods can be active for quite some time if both teams keeps reclaiming them. At this point, a second drop pod might actually drop down from the sky, meaning that two of them will be active at the same time. When this happens, one of them is usually captured very fast, since it's hard to keep an even battle at two separate locations. Whenever a pod is completely captured, it will spawn three power-ups shortly after, so even though rushing to the new pod is number one priority, it can still be good to stay for a few seconds at the captured pod to get the power-ups. Because I noticed multiple times when I was playing the game that I could just stroll in and grab some of the enemy's power-ups because they rushed away from the captured pod so fast. These power-ups can actually be to a lot of use in drop zone, since if you get something like an orbital strike or a thermal imploder, it can completely wipe the area around the pod meaning that getting to the pod first isn't necessarily the best tactic. The game runs until one enemy gets 5 pods or until the 10 minute timer hits the end. And when it does, you will still have to fight for the last active pod. So it happened multiple times that one team had 2 points and one had 3 when the timer hit 0. And then the losing team actually captured the last pod and tied the whole game. Overall my first impression of this game mode is that it's really fun and intense and I'd possibly say it's my favorite game mode for now even though I do of course miss the heroes and villains not being in this actual game mode. But I love the whole mechanic around the pods, power ups and so on. The Solace map is also really fun to play on since it has a good layout with the verticality that gives you a lot of options. Either you can take a jetpack and take advantage of the leverage or do like me and bring the cycler rifle instead. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this drop zone round without commentary, but I'll have some more detailed tips and tricks videos for drop zone and the Solost map later on. Enjoy! We can't let that happen. Capture that escape pod, they will have the upper hand. We can't let that happen.
capturing the escape pod. Enemies up ahead! That escape pod will soon be ours. Another pod has landed. Troopers are about to secure that escape pod. We have to stop them. under our control. That escape pod is about to fall into Imperial hands. We can't let that happen.
Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to check out all my other new videos on the channel by clicking on the screen or in the description below. I will see you guys soon again and as always, may the force be with you.